Michael Early's Rain Gutter was written after I had already had a few of these pieces for this setup, and he had seen me play some of these pieces. The vibraphone is used as the central voice, and the non-keyboard instruments are only used in small groups at any given time. So it's like a piece with different movements with the same soloist, but with different accompanying ensembles. At the time, I'd had this image when I was writing of like sitting in my room composing and having four different walls, like four windows in each wall looking out to a different scene, I guess. And having different scenes, each with their own smaller instrument groups, is a very effective way of dealing with a setup like this with very different instrumental colors. And for Mike, the position of where I had to be to play these instruments was also an inspiration. There was sort of the left side of the stage, the central side of the stage, and the right side of the stage. So there was kind of a... Um, I think it, for me it was definitely more motivated by the physical, the physicalness of the layout of the instruments um, as well as their, their sonic interactions. The first scene has vibraphone with brake drums and cowbell. The second is vibraphone with kick bass drum. The third is vibraphone with toms. And the last is vibraphone with crotals and triangle. The title comes from the sound of rain falling into a metallic rain gutter. Mike actually recorded this sound. This was at a point where I was playing around with recording natural sounds a lot. And use it as a model for the opening material. The opening for me is really pretty literally evocative of, of rain falling and kind of this idea of acceleration and building up from something, the metallic sounds of something hitting a metallic rain gutter. That was all kind of this very concrete image for me. The pitch material of the vibraphone and the crotals was influenced by the pitches of the non-keyboard instruments. For example, the brake drums and cowbell play a role in the opening material. Yeah, no, I was thinking about all three of those pitches because they sort of form sort of a slightly out-of-tune triad, I think. They do indeed. And the pitches of the drums and the triangle also play a part in the keyboard material. But I would say that the way that these instruments are used it's not absolutely necessary for the success of the piece that they be those specific pitches. I think the piece would come off just fine if somebody else played this piece with different instruments with different pitches. A full performance of Michael Early's Rain Gutter can be found below.